just got done <clears throat> feeding the cats in the park with this old man. Now I'm at the beach for sunset. Some people are doing karate over there. It's funny how learning who you are as a person often just means remembering who you knew you were. You know, at a time when life was going well, but you weren't sure if there's anything better out there. So that's why you ventured out. No, no part of you regrets having gone out on an adventure to see if there was something better to learn, because I'm sure you learned a million things along the way. But you're grateful that you can remember that time in which you were happy and the qualities of that time that made you happy. Because now you can live and experience those things without wondering if there's anything better, you can know that this is who you are as a person. People are <clears throat> so fortunate and they usually know it. You know, they know who they are from a young age and they have the structure that supports that and cultivates that in a way that it never gets obstructed. They develop strength around who they are and that's like how they continue on their life without interruption. And there's people that, you know, have had good friends their whole life. I see these podcasts, people talking about small circle, no new friends, like sort of thing, you know, and that's fantastic and beautiful. But that's such a lucky thing to have, to have a circle of good friends to develop with, to share life with. It's something not everyone has. Call your friends. I was writing in my journal the other day, I was like... What the hell is wrong with my family? Like, I call y'all because I genuinely want to talk to you. I'm like, God, I wonder what my mom is doing. I love talking to her. What is she up to? And when I talk to my brother, he's bragging that he penciled me into his schedule. <laughs> it's like, man, that's fucking silly. We don't have to talk. I mean, I want to talk. I love talking to you. But it's cool, you know? I don't think it's wrong to take space away from your family. I mean, it's your life. I mean, seriously, take a year and skip Christmas if you want figure your shit out at the end of the day they'll be better for it if you're better for it you know i'm not skipping christmas i'm just saying i saw a video of this guy and he was like eventually the nice people when they're not rewarded they get tired of being nice i don't care who you are you get sick of it and honestly i was like i don't feel that way like i call my family because i love talking to them and all this stuff and I had sent my mom a postcard, right, from Japan. And so she texted me and was like, let's talk tomorrow. I'm like, oh, yay, she got my postcard. If she liked it, let's chat. And of course, like, she calls me and it, it's not about the postcard. It's not about catching up. She wants to talk to me about when I need to change my health insurance. And that was the whole call. I just, I don't hold it against them. I think they just got... I feel like they're wrapped up, I'm not gonna lie. That's just what it feels like. But I'm not wrapped up. <laughs> Somehow I weirdly have made it this far in life and I, I'm not wrapped up in some bullshit. I have been. I've been deeply wrapped up in some bullshit that has definitely affected the people around me in negative ways. But now I'm not. And it feels really good.